New at 10, more than 30 states confirmed cases of the highly contagious avian influenza or bird flu. That includes one wild bird case here in Alabama, according to the U.S. Department of Agriculture. You might want to reconsider putting that bird feeder out as bird flus, uh, as the bird flu keeps spreading. Wayne Theodore Wines Nicole Zedek spoke to a local feed and seed store to learn more about the danger wild birds could pose to any backyard flocks. Plenty of people come here to C.T. Garvin's Feed and See every day to pick up a little baby chick like this. And if you do have your own chicken coop in your backyard, you're going to want to pay a little bit more attention to these babies in the next couple of weeks because the avian influenza keeps spreading. I mean, I, I don't want to say I'm worried about it, but I mean, it's always... It's, it's in the back of your mind just because there's not a whole lot you can do about it. All it takes is one wild bird to fly over a chicken coop and unintentionally spread bird flu. If one flies over, goes to the bathroom, then you got the possibility that you've got it. And there's not much you can do to protect your backyard flock. Unless you had almost a solid roof on it and then even the sides, I mean, almost have to keep them inside just to, to keep them from getting it, so it's it's almost not possible. The general manager at CT Garvin's Feed and Seed says one thing that could stop wild birds from coming in the first place is stop feeding them with outdoor bird feeders. If you have chickens and turkeys and other fowl, you might want to think about moving the feeder or maybe not feeding wild bird for maybe the next month or so. For bird watching enthusiasts without any poultry, you're probably okay to keep the feeders up as humans are at low risk for contracting the virus. But for these vulnerable chicks, it's easily spread just like that. Keep an eye on your backyard birds. And if some of them do start to look sick, contact the Alabama Department of Conservation and Natural Resources for testing. Reporting in Huntsville, Nicole Zedek, Way 31 News. And if you're interested in working with some of those baby chicks, C.T. Garvin's Feed and Seed is currently hiring and looking to fill multiple positions.